hey my babies welcome back to my channel it's your girl raya j and i'm back with another video in today's video my babies i'm going to be giving you all another story time and this story time i know you've seen the title <laughs> the title says my my first my what is it my first what the fuck is the um <laughs> the title well anyways the story time is when my stud ex-girlfriend cheated on me and this was my first girlfriend ever um you know i had slept with women before but this was my first actual legit uh relationship and so basically this this story time is about when my stud ex-girlfriend cheated on me with dick okay and i had this ch this story time posted on my channel before but because i made the story time too long last time I had cut it into three parts and I know that was too much for y'all to be you know tuned and locked into watching that story time because it was just I was doing too much separating that story time into three parts like who's gonna watch that <laughs> I mean y'all did and thank you to those who did watch that video um, because I know it was difficult with the music playing in the background and you know separating it in, into the three parts that I did but I'm gonna be re reposting it okay on Saturday morning so y'all gonna see this Saturday morning but today is actually Friday so yeah basically me and me and my ex we were friends first we actually met in in, in the second shelter that I was ever in and you know she was cool she had a son she was about three years older than me so when we met i was 19 and she was i think she was like 20 i was 19 and she was 25 i believe and um you know we started we met each other in a shelter everything was cool you know the, the second shelter that i was in was a women's facility with kids so there was a lot of girls there you know and we all was cool and you know it was nice to have you know young women older women all different kinds of women and their children in the same situation as you going through what you're going through um so that means that y'all can relate you know and definitely when we came together to go on trips to take the kids on trips and we we would sometimes we would be downstairs in the counseling room um you know just to get to know each other on personal levels and relate you know to one another's stories but besides that here near besides that um yeah me and shorty we met each other at the, facili the facility and basically um we became really cool like she had a few like really close homegirls and y'all know like i'm kind of like anti like I'll kick it with you, but like I don't really want to be your best friend. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't like people uh, coming all up in my life like that. You know, you can't trust people. But me and her, we we hit it off. We became close, you know, and we started smoking together. Our kids would play together, and um, literally, because when I got to this facility, I was celibate. I was on my celibacy journey. I had just got my um my had my abortion, my second pregnancy. And when I got there, I was like, you know what? I'm celibate. I'm not dealing with no guys. I'm not dealing with nobody. And I was celibate for like seven months. So one night, before me and her even got together, me and this girl, um, we, we used to hang out. You know, she was cool. She, she, she was pregnant and she had her baby, you know, in the shelter. And, um, you know, so it was cool to, sh I mean, she liked me. Like, I'm a cool down-to-earth person, like, you know, and then I was teaching her, like, the ropes of motherhood. Even though she was older than me, this was another girl. She had just became a mom, you know, and my daughter was two. So, one night, me and her was chilling in my room, and this is the other girl, not the ex. And the girl, she was like, oh, I got to leave. Her baby started crying, so she left my room. She was like, girl, I got to go. I got to feed the baby. So she went downstairs to feed her baby. Next thing you know, my phone, I got a text on my phone. And it was the girl. And she was like, yo, your ass is looking real good in them leggings, and I want to eat your pussy. So I was like, I couldn't believe it because, bitch, you could have said that in my face. Like, why would you leave? And, well, I understand she had to feed her baby. So, and maybe she got the confidence to tell, say it downstairs in her room versus you know in my face or whatever i don't know um or maybe she didn't want to get rejected you know she didn't know what i was gonna say anyways she ended up texting me that and i was like of course so this is when i broke my celibacy the girl ate my pussy that night and oh my god that girl could eat pussy so good but anyways <laughs> after she ate my pussy 
you know, we act like nothing ever happened. You know, we would go shopping, we would go on walks, we would still hang out and stuff like that. And then that's when me and my ex became close. And my and me, we would smoke and shit like that, you know? And we would chill, we would talk, she would confide in me about, you know, her personal life issues. I would confide in her. And basically we started <laughs> basically we started having sex you know i would i would eat her pussy but i was like look bitch i'm not gonna be eating your pussy you know every fucking day you know and um you're not you're not finna cuff me so i was she was like so what you want to be my girl i'm like yes i do like i'm not finna just be <laughs> eating your pussy bitch <laughs> and i'm not your girl like let's try and see if we can be in a relationship so, you know, she was like, all right, but, you know, I'm just going to tell you, I'm not like the relationship type, you know, I just be fucking with girls and, you know, so this is going to be like the first time, but she fell in love with me, y'all. This was the second time that she fell in love because she was in a relationship when she was younger, but the girl cheated on her with dick. So I was like, I'm not going to cheat on you. Like, I'm not that type. Like, I'm feeling you. This is what I want. I want you. Like, let's see what, where this goes, you know? So, you know, everything was cool. We started we started dating. So, you know, we would go. She would take me um, to her family gatherings. I'm telling my family about her. You know, our kids are playing together. Even though her son was, her son was five, you know, and Wookie was only two. But they would play together, you know, and her son was autistic too. So, you know, that was new for me. I've never been around an autistic kid. But you would think nothing was wrong with him because, um, you know, he... he he was a bright kid. He was very smart, you know, very strong, very, um, you know, compre comprehend comprehensive, you know, he was, he was a really great kid, but, um, so yeah, we, we fucking whatever, and we together, shit is smooth, like, and then, one day we go to the doctor, right, and we, I went to the doctor with her, and she ran out the doctor's office, and she started throwing up, because I'm going to just skip this to the main point of the story. I don't want to be blabbing, 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 and I'm, I'm, I don't get to the point. So, um, she ran outside the doctor's office, so I ran behind her, and I'm like, baby, what's wrong? She was like, I'm all right, babe, I'm all right, go ahead, go inside, I'm all right. So I went back inside, you know, and I sat down, and I wait for her to, you know, finish with her appointment. And, you know, we went on as if the day was all good. You know, we went to get food. We came back. I ate her pussy. I mean, shit was small. And about three days after her doctor's appointment, she ended up telling me, we we walking somewhere. And she was like, babe, I got to talk to you, you know. And I didn't really know how to tell you. Um, so I asked Nina. Nina, oh, shit, I just said people's names. Um, she asked her sister, um... You know how should she tell me you know because she felt like i wasn't going to want to be with her no more once she told me this information so she ended up telling me i'm pregnant so i'm like pregnant bitch i've been with you for how many months now and you turn up pregnant she was like yeah you know i've been trying to have a baby for the past year i always said that i wanted to have a a baby before my son turns my son turns six and you know i'm about to um my son is almost turning six, you know, so I started trying for a baby, you know, I met this guy, and, you know, I asked him if he would be my sperm donor or whatever, so I'm like, hold on, so you a stud, and you a fucking lesbian, and you tell me that you don't fuck dick, but come to find out, you pregnant, bitch, and I'm eating your pussy every day, falling in love with you, you know what I'm saying, and that really hurt my fucking heart, y'all, like, like I said, I've never been in a relationship with a girl until this, until my ex, you know, and, um, she really broke my fucking heart, because I'm like, how the fuck are you pregnant, and so then we, we started talking down and talking about shit, you know, sitting down talking about it, and she started, you know, to be real with me, and she was like, she took the dick to get pregnant with her sperm donor, and I'm like, I can't believe it's like if you would have just told me she was like I know but I how I'm gonna tell you that you know and I don't really know you like that like yeah we friends but my family don't even know nobody know like only me and him we knew what we were doing and you know I knew why I was doing it because I wanted to have a baby so I'm like I, I don't know where the fuck my head was at at that time like I must have really felt for this girl because I decided to stay with her but at the end of the day I had some built-up resentment towards her um, because 
I should have never, like thinking about everything now, I should have never stayed with her knowing that I felt a type of way. You know what I'm saying? And I couldn't continue to love her unconditionally because she basically lied to me and manipulated me uh, for her own, you know, for her own life and what she wanted in her life. So basically things started going on. She actually got her apartment before I got my apartment. And I was happy for her. Like I helped her move in. I helped her clean her, her her new crib before she, you know, got it furnished. Everything. Like I, I was helping with everything. Set up baby shit. And then she had her baby. So she called me and she was like, you know. And we was a little rocky because as she was moving into her place, I was feeling like a little abandoned. Like damn, you know, because we wasn't together every day anymore. You know, we wasn't we wasn't talking as much as we used to talk because now she moved out to her apartment i'm still in the, in the shelter waiting to get my apartment and um you know so we started to like drift away a little bit and i remember she called me when she had the baby and she had another boy and she was like thank hey boy i just want to let you know i had the baby and um you know you know he's doing good he this is his name he weighs this one if you want to come to the hospital so i went up to the hospital i went to see her um you know eventually i started going back around to her house and we started to like form a bond again and fall back in love with each other and of course i loved her son her new son like y'all know how much i love kids like i love kids and he was so cute and dc honest and um you know him and wookie would play together it was like we really had this whole family <laughs> we really had this whole family foundation going on and um but one day right because i had to be real with her one day we was laying in, the, in her bed in her house and I had, I had to tell her you know because i had took her and the kids and and wookie we we all went to the movies for for easter that year and i didn't pay for it you know because i didn't have a job and also i was getting my hair done you know my box braids i was getting my lashes done my eyebrows done um before i before my security job that i had got when i got my crib um, before I did that security training because that security training was funded through HRA so before that job I actually went to a, a, a agency where they promised to get us jobs if we paid three hundred dollars for the security license and everything for the training so I actually asked my shorty I had met this agent online and um, you know she used to pick me up from the shelter she used to pick me and woke up we used to go to her crib in Jersey you know we used to do adult things and she used to like take care of me you know and um you know she was the one who actually paid for the the easter <laughs> festivities when me and my ex went she paid for my hair she paid for my my first security training she was paying for my eyebrows and she was sending me money you know um that was really like my shorty you know so one day me and my ex were laying in the bed and i had to tell her you know because before we can literally move on to the next level we had to make sure that our trust and 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 our 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 faith and just we were on the same level you know in the relationship so i thought like because she had told me you know like she fucked dick and now she's pregnant i thought that i could tell her oh i met somebody and this person did this for us and you know she been doing this for me um but i guess i really fucked up because she was pregnant when i told her this so we laying in bed and shit, all cuddled up, and I told her, like, you know, I got to tell you something. So she like, what? So I'm like, you know, all of this, this stuff that I've been doing for us and, you know, my hair and things like my training. Um, you know who paid for that, whatever. I met, I met a girl or whatever. And she was like, what? <laughs> and, then, oh, and she ragged me, too. After I told her, like, you know, well, I've been seeing somebody and they've been doing this and that. But that bitch took me by my eye. She stormed out to La Sala and was sitting there and she got emotional and shit or pregnant. And I'm like, baby, like, I'm not still with her. Like, that was just a point in time, you know. But she grabbed my fucking box braids, <laughs> yanked my head down. And she was like, bitch, don't play with me. Like, why the fuck would you tell me that? You know, you didn't have to tell me that. And I'm just like, you dead ass. Like, <laughs> you need to calm the fuck down. The only reason why I let her rag me with my head is because that bitch was pregnant. But anyways, that's the story time on when my ex stud girlfriend cheated on me with dick. <laughs> and she's the reason why I would not ever be in a relationship with a woman again. Because that, you know, she really broke my heart. And I, I just, I'm not on that time. You know what I'm saying? I am waiting for my husband. And 
that's where I'm at in my life but I wanted to retell this story in a shorter in a shorter form and you know in one video so I hope you all enjoy my story time and I see you all in my next video my babies I love you all so much thank you all for watching